Hey everybody, Sean here. Day back on the existence server. This is episode number 11. We're over here by the mansion. Hope you enjoyed that nice time lapse where I built up the the uh, foundations of the Effie Mini. This is a 256 village iron farm designed by TDL that works along the y-axis to keep it small. So how this iron farm works is uh, all the doors are covered by pistons. All these light sources are covered by pistons. So the doors have no sky access. Then uh, as the as the main timer goes around, it activates all the different pistons, which gives the doors sky access. Uh, so as it does that, it adds village, uh, village after village after village. And, and it does a glitch called known as village stacking. And it has... 256 villages all together. Uh, there will be 40 villagers stored in a little pod over in that direction. And there are pods inside here with villages, villagers to detect the doors. That's it on a really basic, really, really, really basic principle. Then all the golems will, sp will spawn in the middle here, in the middle of all the villages. And we can kill them for our iron. So this... Uh, generates about 10,000 iron ingots an hour which is about it's like two and a half stacks an hour which is a lot of iron but the reset time is quite a long quite long but and you don't automatically start off with the um, oh, you don't automatically start off with the 256 villages so it builds up and you get more iron iron over time Eventually, then you get all the iron. So, next thing I want to talk about is um, my new my upload schedule, the one that is non-existent. Uh, I've dropped my upload schedule of trying to upload once a week, and I'm gonna work on making these videos way more enjoyable. As just they just are not enjoyable at the moment. So this should hopefully be the starting point of that. So I'll do a bit more editing and should be more enjoyable as I said overall so what I what we need to do now is I'm gonna set up the main timer system here the main village building system and maybe add some of the redstone on top of here we put in the villagers last because um, it's just really they're really difficult I think I'm going to be commissioning Kesaurus to do it to, to get the villagers over here at least so let's get to work and I'll be back when I'm ready when I'm starting. Okay, so what I've done is I've added in this wiring. This is the reset counting wiring, and it'll count all the doors as it adds them to each village. 256 in total. So how this works is you flick this lever, and uh, this just uh, puts a pulse or something. And then this counts, I'm pretty sure it's the reset between each door. I'm really not uh, honestly sure. But all I know is it works. This counts like the weight between the doors or something. But uh, anyway, all, uh, the, the, the main part I need to know is this counts the doors. This is light up while it's resetting. And this lights up when it's done resetting. Uh, so then it's ready to reset again. So that when you want to use the farm again, you can. So, uh, sorry for being so late with this video. But... First week I was busy and I was doing the majority of the building here, this and this. And then at the start of this week there was a storm and it cut out the power for over 48 hours. And then the power was on and off kind of randomly throughout the week. And there's another storm coming this weekend and ugh, it's a mess, it's a mess. But uh, yeah, so what we need to do now is we need to add redstone wire going out here, going out this side, going up at glowstone pillars. All the way up. So I am gonna add the majority of that and then I will be back since it wouldn't be fun watching me doing that, would it? Uh, so yeah, back soon. Okay, welcome back. So I spent the last half hour uh, placing down all of these components over here. Have a look here. Um, how this works is there's wiring missing up here. I, I need to get more concrete. But 
how this works is uh, as that changes it kind of it uses signal strength to activate the pistons so that's what this wiring does it changes the signal strength to wire the pistons over it's a lot cheaper than hoppers and it's not it's as you can see it's not that difficult to wire like i know it looks really confusing but it's really not Just every module contains a repeater going into the lamp compared to the lamp comparator uh on the subtract going into the lamp or coming out to the side that will be going into a block a repeater coming into this comparator uh, that's missing a block here as well. A uh, comparator coming out of the furnace, repeater behind the furnace, going to block. It, it, I know it's, yeah, okay, it, sounds, it does sound confusing, but it's not, don't worry. It was not that difficult to, oh, I'm missing glass here, I need to add that in. But, um, yeah, that's how it look. it's looking so far. I've also added uh, most of the wiring going across that direction. I need to do the same on this direction. I'm, again, I'm out of concrete, so I need to head down and get more rockets to get more concrete. I can keep working on this, but it's coming along very nicely. So I, hopefully next time you see me, uh, I should have at least one of these sides fully wired. Okay, so I've made quite a bit of progress now, as you can see. I have finished all of here. I'll need to add in his pistons facing uh, towards the glass so that they can block off the light level for the doors. Oh, there should probably be a block here, actually. So I've, I've also finished the pods for the villagers. So what I need to do now is I need to finish up any bits of wiring and then we need to actually add in the villagers. Then they're finally ready to reset, which is pretty nice. So I'm going to get the redstone and then I guess we'll go and collect some villagers from spawn. So I'll see you soon. Okay, I'm over here. Right, so I set up a villager breeder here. It's a simple unary bit one. I've thrown in all of my carrots and potatoes because I need... 46 villagers to fill in uh, six pods. Now, I've actually recorded this clip before, but it turned out the audio didn't record. Thankfully, I didn't do too much. But I'm going, what I'm going to do, so I've finished the rest of the FE bin. It's completely finished. All I have to do is bring villagers up, and I have brought up that villager. So, and the villager over there. So that's two out of the 46 villagers. 40 of them will be going into this pod here alone. One here, one here, there, there, and there. That's the 46 of them. Well, yeah, I'm going to get to work on that. This is going to be a tight video. <laughs> I can already tell. Because these villagers are going to take a while to move. I better get to work. Be back very soon. Okay, let me just put in these glass pillars here. I just finished taking down the pillar I used to bring up this guy. Uh, but right, he should be in a minecart, so should the fellow over there. But, uh, I have added in the waterway to bring the villagers from the breeder all the way up to the pod over there. Now, I'm not going to have to do, have time to do that in this video since I need to breed up all the villagers. But, I promise you, start the next episode, I will have this... I'll have this finished and we'll get to see it in action. So, I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed the background music. That's uh, something new I'm trying. Trying to uh, make my videos a bit more entertaining. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. Uh, and look out for my next episode. Because things should start picking up from here. The Iron Farm is always the building that starts it all off. So, see you all next time.